Hello, my name is Matt Janes. I'm the product manager for the Self-Propelled Forge Harvester. Today we're going to talk about our nine, new 900 series forge harvesters with a horsepower range of 462 to 884 horsepower. What's new for this year um, is our new front axle, which is stronger, heavier. It uh, can handle road speeds um, up to 25 miles an hour. The front axle also comes with an optional differential lock that can be installed on it to have both tires spinning at the same speed, as well as a stronger hydro motor, so it allows us to go with lower engine RPM on the road to save fuel, as well as a stronger hydro motor to go climb hills in the field. So for with a corn head and really muddy conditions, we really have the strength to power through the field. As long as with that stronger hydro motor, we can also go in first gear up to 14 miles an hour. So there's no shifting in the field. We can go at all that same speed. Some other great features that Kloss has come out with this year is our new VMAX extended knife drum. The 24, 28, and 36 new knife drum are available. And for our Shredledge branding of kernel processing, we can now run with full knives when we do hay or wheat. So an example would be in California, we can chop our winter wheat at 28 millimeter. And then when we want to go to doing Shredledge corn silage, we pull out half our knives, rotate the stars, so then the knives are an equal distance between each other. This allows for a smoother feeding to the kernel processor and a better processing. Another feature that we introduced for 2018 is our new feed rolls with hydraulic tensioning. So instead of springs, the conventional processor has you know, have hydraulic cylinders that pull down on the feed rolls for smoother feeding, better chop quality, um, and higher capacity of the machine. As well with the 900 series, new is our new shielding on the side doors as well as the rear door. It allows airflow to flow through the back of the machine. So in our hotter temperatures, when we're in that little 100 degree days, we can stay at maximum cooling. I'm standing in front of our new direct disc 600. It is a 20 foot wide direct disc. So we use a direct disc in North America to cut wheat, uh, sorghum, different types of grasses, it's a new with our max cut cutter bar, which is renowned from our disco range of mowers. It has a cutter bar and an auger underneath. And then it brings the crop into the chopper so it's a direct cut, so we don't have to have uh, mowers, rakes, mergers out in the field. It gives us a better chop quality. It gives us less ash content in the crop. So direct cuts are becoming much more popular across the country. It can handle that really tall, nasty sorghums that uh, producers out west can grow, so it's a really good heavy-duty head. On the new Jaguar 900 series, we've introduced a new front axle. This front axle can come with duals. They're spaced evenly on 30-inch row centers, so the tires won't touch the corn stalks. As well as with our new front axle, it's stronger with a stronger hydro motor. With that stronger hydro motor, it allows us to go up to first gear at 14 miles an hour. It allows us to have lower engine RPM on the road to save fuel as well as stronger climbing ability. So we're in really hilly conditions like in western Wisconsin. Uh, we can really climb those hills well and uh, without losing any capacity. On the side of the machine is the heart of the Kloss Jaguar. This is what makes the Jaguar the most efficient machine in the industry as far as horsepower per ton and fuel savings. Because we have a direct drive engine, we turn our engine transverse and have our belt come down to our cutter head. So we have virtually no horsepower loss versus a right angle gearbox that other competitors have. With this, it's been a tried and true system we've had for, for many decades. As well as when we look here at the hydraulics, we have a simple uh, hydraulic system on the side of our machine. It's very easy to get at. We have very reliable electronics. As you can see with the blue fittings, they give us a weather pack, so we have a very long life with our wires for be the best reliability in industry. On the side of the machine here, we're standing next to a 970. This is a V12 uh, man engine. We have also introduced for 2018 our smaller series, which is the starting with the 930 at 462 horsepower up to the 960 that is 626 horsepower. All machines in our 2018 lineup are tier four final compliant. 
Standing at the rear of the machine, one can see how much more open the new 900 series is with additional ventilation panels on the rear and side doors. You can see here with the 970, this is a Mammoth MAN V12 engine. At Kloss, we talk about four main points. We talk about reliability, we talk about accessibility, efficiency, and crop flow. Standing here right now, we can see our accessibility with the door that's wide open, so we can easily get our corn cracker in and out as well as do any maintenance to our engine. So when we stand behind the Kloss Jaguar 900 series, we're looking at the corn cracker and we can see how easy it is to access it and get it in and out. Now above that is the accelerator. The accelerator paddles are fixed and then you can see the hydraulic cylinder that can move the paddles in and out depending on crop conditions. So as an easy chopping, we can run up to a 10 millimeter or just less than a half an inch gap. And if it's really gummy hay, we can run at a lesser gap for more blowing power. So part of our four key things is about crop flow, accessibility. This makes it more reliable because it's just a simple system. Now I'm standing in front of the new PU380 and PU300. The PU380 contour can contour laterally side to side. What's new for 2018 is a new auger. As one can see, the auger flighting comes more to the center with two paddles versus our old style with four. This creates a more uniform crop flow coming through the machine and helps increase capacity as well as better chop quality. And additionally to the, to the new auger style, we have revamped our tried and true double roll crop press to have a better angle to move the bigger volume crops that we harvest today to our auger. Another couple of little things that have changed on the new hay head is the color scheme where the pickup and under frame is gray and the upper part is cloth green. Also new on the PU300 series is our new three-speed gearbox. It's an optional three-speed gearbox with a handle right here. So we can have three different speeds for our auger. This is a really good feature for customers who have different requirements in length of cut. On the PU300 series, active contour is now standard for 2018. With that, what that sense is, is the industry exclusive pickup that pivots independently to the frame of the pickup. So it's monitoring quicker how fast the ground is changing and can move that uh, header up and down faster so it can have better pickup of the crop. It's going to have less wear on the teeth from gouging in the ground because it has the fastest reaction time in the industry. As well as we've beefed up our gauge wheels within the frame of the wheel itself as well as we've uh, increased the lifetime of the wear components inside the pickup. This is the Kloss Multi-Cracker Shredlage Processor. It's a kernel processor that processes corn silage or sorghums. What is new with us is having the Shredlage brand that has a spiral tooth design as well as a 50% speed differential on the pulleys. As you can see with the spirals here, this spiral action goes one way, the other spiral action goes the other way. So it's gonna destroy the stalk um, lengthwise as well as uh, breaking it up into smaller pieces. So Kloss offers two kinds of corn crackers. We offer the MCCL behind me, which is straight tooth, and we offer the MCC Shredledge corn cracker that we're standing here looking at. The difference is the teeth have the cuts here for shredlage as well as a higher differential speed on the pulleys. With shredlage, we want to chop at longer lengths of cuts. We want to be above 21 millimeter all the way up to 30 millimeter in length of cut. With that, what that does is not only intensely processes the kernels with a higher differential speed, but with the tooth design, it's going to remove the hard structure of the stalk off of the spongy part of the stalk. So that not only allows us for better compaction, but it's better for rumen digestion as well. With a conventional corn cracker, we're gonna chop our, our chop lengths at anywhere from 10 to 18, 19 millimeter, and we really recommend going to the shredlage processor over 19 millimeter just to have that better processing. But even for customers that want short chop, 
Uh, you can use a Shrevelich processor. It's just going to do a much better job in processing the kernels. You can get from any of your cloth dealers this nice Shredledge card. Any dairyman or custom harvester or whoever can get this card from a cloth dealer. We really recommend this when you're wanting to do shredlage because we want to measure the stock below the ear and above the ear and we want 95% of the hard piece that's attached to the outside of the stock below the ear to go through this hole. We want the stock above the ear to the tassel to be chewed up enough that it goes through the round part. And we want 95% of that. It is really essential to be looking at that because with Shredledge, it's not only doing the kernel processing, but more importantly, it's the pure processing of the stock. We also give you a guide here on what length of cut maximum you can go to for each type of moisture. Because as the corn gets drier, we need to re reduce our length of cut. When Shredledge is done properly, concluding from three different independent tests between University of Wisconsin-Madison and Dairy One, they have concluded that Shredledge can produce up to over two pounds of increased in milk. It's really the only university studies out there showing that something from a mechanical aptitude side can actually change milk production. So with Shredledge, by chop, chopping it longer and then destroying the fibers in a lengthwise fashion um, helps for rumen digestion. It helps on grinding up the kernels so, so uh, that starch is more readily available. It reduces the amount of starch in, the, in your fecal scores at the end. So Shredledge is just a really good type of corn silage. It's good for dairy, it's good for feedlots, it's good for all animals because it not only helps increase milk production, it also helps increase animal health as well. If you want more information at Kloss with the Jaguar Forge Harvester or the Shredledge processing, visit kloss.com or please go visit your nearest Kloss dealer.